bird right there. Well, I could not get in position the right way. Well, this is the last day of second season right here. Come down to hunt with my buddy Jeremy and Doug. And the sun's barely cresting the hill over there. These two birds were over here working, gobbling good. Jeremy had them answering every call for about the last 15 minutes. Well, he's afraid that he's on the other side of the creek, but uh, I got up to where I could see a little bit better. Could tell that he's on this side, and I tried working my way back to the cameraman. And uh, as you can see, they come marching right in. They were gonna give him a little bit of flogging, but uh, put a stop to that. I stopped an assault out here, but uh, come in, turned hard, and I'm sure they see my gun and me moving around behind it. I was trying to keep the GoPro on the turkeys, so uh, it's a good hunt. We got all day to do a lot of different things now. Gonna go scout a new property, get this baby tagged up and rolling out of here. Congrats, brother. Jeremy, man, All right. appreciate uh, appreciate you inviting me down last night. It's quite a story. Didn't get out of a baseball game till 10 last night. Headed down here, drove 90 miles to meet these characters this morning early. And this was our first attempt. And I'm pretty darn happy with it, Jeremy. Well, I'll tell you what, it doesn't get any better than turkey reefing, Clint. We're out here, you know. You come through this cattle pasture, have these two birds. There's actually five or six birds in here this morning, gobbling, just going nuts up through here. We come through the cattle pasture, they've been coming up on top every morning, so we just gradually worked. The sun was at our, it was a big disadvantage in the filming and stuff this morning, so we had to get down in here, tight on them, you know, lower towards the ditch. And sure enough, they come right up through this, um, you know, just a big brome grass field here and come right on top of us. And uh, it's exciting, you know, this is the first time we've <laughs> and Iowa together and you laid the smack down. I mean, these were inches from the decoy. I mean, they come screaming in and they, they did that little fight per noise that they make when they got up there. And it was, you know, that's what jacks us up as turkey reapers. So let's get a tag on this joker. And man, oh man. Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks, Doug. I love this. I'll tell you what, I hunted out of a blind for many years. When you try this reaping, it changes your way of thinking right there because uh, I can still sit in a blind for a while and I enjoy that, but man alive, when it, this is time of year, these gobblers are starting to get hinned up a little bit. We're talking uh, April 22nd, and uh, we just made room for that old gobbler right there to get the hens in this area. Yeah, he, he's throttled them. Right there's what we work for, folks. Last day of second season. I'm thrilled. I haven't even been in the game on turkeys this year. Called Jeremy yesterday, told him I was struggling. And just like any good friend would do, he said, quit struggling and get down here. I've got a spot to go. And as you can see, when he tells you something, you can bank on her. Whether it's the hunt of a lifetime or a lifetime of hunting, ring it with Dead Ringer Universal Sights. We thought of everything. Machined aircraft grade aluminum bases that stand up to years of abuse. High strength flex and light pipes for consistent brightness and unmatched durability. And our universal mount system that is guaranteed to not fall off. Our interchangeable rear sights make it easy to go from busting turkeys to clay birds to waterfowl with your favorite gun. Visit DeadRingerHunting.com to find a retailer near you.